You're tuned into the Sports Mix with Spencer and Nick on Talk Radio WRNR 106.5 FM, AM 740, and TV 10. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Map. Welcome back to this edition of the Sports Mix on Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. Spencer, Colin, and Dylan, happy to have you with us. Nick on vacation for the rest of the week. We're now joined on the phone by... Kevin Jones of Best Virginia, the West Virginia alumni team in the TBT. How are you doing today, Kevin? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? We're doing good up here. You guys uh, change in venue here for the West Virginia Regional this year, up in Wheeling. Uh, what's uh, the kind of preparation been like for your team uh, to get ready to go next week? Uh, it's been good so far, actually. So we had the ABL game um, this past uh, Saturday in Fairmont. So most of the guys, like five out of the eight guys who played, are going to be on the best Virginia team. And then a lot. And then the rest of the team came in yesterday. So we start our first practice today. So we'll see how we look, get our team chemistry together, and we should be ready to go. Kevin, this is... Kevin, this is Colin. Thank you for uh, joining us today. Um, just talk a little bit about some of the guys on the team this year. I know the breaking news was that, uh, I guess, yesterday you guys signed Eric Stevenson after he uh, played summer ball in the NBA there. But uh, who else is on the team this year from WVU? Um, so it's uh, me, Kitty Johnson, Eric Stevenson, John Flowers, Nate Adrian, and Sean McNeil, for, as far as uh, WVU alumni is concerned, um, we have a um, we have a couple guys that um, that are not a WVU alumni. Um, Alex Gross, he's um, he's about six nine, six ten, out of Moorhead State. Um, I'm sorry, I'm I'm drawing a blank as as far as the names. Um, and then also we have. Dang, I'm gonna. I'm drawing the blank as far as the name. Sorry, but we have um we have two other guys that are not WVU alumni that are gonna be playing as well, and then we may add someone else. We haven't. We are not sure yet, so we may go in there with ten or eleven. But um, whoever we have is gonna be a great part to the team. I think to help us win. Hey, Kevin, it's Dylan here. So, what do you think the biggest thing you uh, want to see out of the team this year, and maybe even from yourself? Uh, to build upon what you guys have been able to do in this tournament so far in the years past? I think just build off of the momentum that we had last year. I think last year was a pretty good run, um, making it all the way to date into the Elite Eight. And I feel like every year we've gotten the tournament, we've gotten further and further. And I, I think part of that is our team chemistry and that fact that a lot of the guys are WVU alumni and a lot of us are familiar with each other just being around or playing uh, side by side during the summers, so I think that really helps us going into a setting like this. And uh, so I'm just looking to build on that. I think we have a great mix of veteran guys who've been on the team who know about the um, the TBT and the Elam ending, and a lot of hungry new guys who are ready to play and ready to compete. And as I mentioned to start off the interview, a change in venue this year, not in Charleston, but moved up to Wheeling at West Banco Arena. Do you think the change in venue is going to maybe have different set of fans be able to watch it than in years past? I think so. I think a lot of people from Morgantown will be more willing to make the drive here than uh, make the drive to Willing than into Charleston, uh, just because it's a little bit closer. And then also, you know, you got Pitt fans there. I think it's closer to Pittsburgh. You got Marshall fans that will make the drive out. So I'm looking for it to be a, a packed arena. I like the way um, I visited there for the TBT um, announcement for the um, for the region. So I like the the venue, and I think yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun, and I have a lot of fans there. Kevin, this is a two-parter. Quickly, just the first one is, how many years has it been that you guys have been in the TBT now? So this will be our fifth year, technically. Well, uh, actually fourth because the fifth one of the years we couldn't make it because of COVID. So this will be the fourth year that we're playing in it. And then the second part to the question is just how crazy has it really been to see the TBT grow and have this opportunity year in, year out for this state to get to see you guys play again in the blue and gold? I think it's a great opportunity to see uh, the alumni play because not a lot is going on during the summer as far as basketball is concerned. I mean, you got the summer league, you got the big three um, 
tournament. But as far as um, a winner-take-all situation like this, I feel like it's exciting for fans to see um, your favorite players from past and present uh, being on the same team together. And, um, yeah, it's, it's grown a lot since the first time I, I've noticed it and started watching it. It's so much talent. You got tons of teams getting rejected that um, – that would probably be great in the tournament, but that's just how stacked everybody is. And I'm, I'm looking forward, and I, I feel privileged playing in it. Yeah, Kevin, this is uh, kind of going off of what Colin just asked, but getting to represent WVU and West Virginia in general, obviously it's not the only team uh, out of West Virginia. You have to herd that team as well. But what does it mean to you to get to keep representing WVU uh, as an alumni and kind of the state of West Virginia in general? Because there aren't really any pro teams for you know, fans of residents of West Virginia to, to watch. So this is kind of, in a way, this is a, our way to have some connection to kind of a, you know, something other than just the college team that's playing presently. Right. It means a lot to me. I know it means a lot to a lot, um, the other alumni guys. Uh, since I've been here, since I graduated from here, West Virginia has been like my second home. So just to play in front of um, play in front of our crowd one more time and um, just uh, just carrying that pride um, and just showing them that you know we have a lot of talent here that's come through here. I feel like a lot of times we get overlooked. I don't know what the reason for that is. But uh, I feel like the talent that we have coming through is just can stack up to anybody else in the country. And I'm just looking forward to showing that once again. I think um, this, this summer will be my last summer playing in the TBT. Not, just, uh, not because I can't or don't want to, but just the fact of I, I would like to see the new generation of talent coming in and uh, making their legacy in the tournament as well. I know it will be in great hands. And um, I'm just looking forward to going out on top, man, winning this whole million dollars this year. And looking at the first game for you all in the West Virginia Regional Bracket, you take on a Du Bois D Dream team uh, that appears to be a minor league basketball and youth development organization out of Pennsylvania. Not a college alumni team you're taking on, but uh, mm -hmm. do you know anything about this Du Bois Dream team yet? Uh, not much. I know that we'll do some scouting on them um, during the week, and as the as the days go on, I know Coach James, Coach uh, Tom, and Coach Payton, um, his staff. He has a great staff, and I know they'll be prepared for anything we have to face. And we're not taking anybody lightly, you know. Even though we don't know uh, these guys, and I don't, I think their record is like winless in the tournament. Anything can happen on any given day, so we're not taking anybody lightly. We're going to be just as prepared for them as we would be for Heard That or any of the other teams that we may face in our region so um like i said i'm just excited about that and i know um everybody else on the team is ready to go out and play looking at the entire region like you kind of just touched on uh second round could potentially if you guys hopefully get the win against a boy dream uh go up against either heard that or zoo crew so the marshall alumni team or the pit alumni team uh just talk about looking at both of those rivalries and which one would have a huge impact there in wheeling I feel like for me, I'm more looking forward to the pit game. Obviously, they will have to win. Um, Marshall, uh, from what I'm hearing, is having a really good team, and so is Pitt. Um, but I think I'm looking forward to that game because it, that hasn't happened yet in the TBT. We played Marshall last year um, in the second round of the TBT, so that's kind of happened. Either way, I think it'll be great, but I'm personally looking forward to the pit matchup if, if that happens. And also, we have to win our game as well. I'll kind of let you get your other plug in here that you might it kind of related to this. How, how much fun is it to to do the the final forecast with the uh, with John Flowers? That's uh, something I've followed on Twitter for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been great, man. Um, I feel like it's really gotten me out of my shell personally. I'm more of an introverted person. Don't really talk as much. Don't really share much with people outside of my circle or people I don't know. So I feel like it's given me a chance to uh, open up more to the public and. Uh, you know, we share opinions that people might not know we have, and we talk about things other than basketball. We talk about regular life situations, sometimes politics. We don't try to get too much into any, get bogged down in any certain area of, of talking, but I think it's just a way for us to express ourselves and our views, and people seem to like it. 
Kevin Jones of Best Virginia, the WVU alumni team in the TBT this year, is our guest. Best Virginia takes on Du Bois Dream next Tuesday in the opening round of the TBT. You can go to the tournament.com slash tickets to get your tickets. It'll be at West Banco Arena in Wheeling. Kevin, thanks for the time. Best of luck next week. Thank you. I appreciate it. That was Kevin Jones of Best Virginia, the alumni team for the WVU Mountaineers.